Real quickly, let's talk about MFA. When it comes to authentication, MFA is now the standard for security of information systems and data. So what does MFA mean? MFA stands for multi-factor authentication, but what does that mean? Well, have you used your phone lately? Your phone has a password, right? But it can also be set up to use your thumbprint or facial recognition to be unlocked. You have multiple forms or factors of authentication, multiple ways to prove the phone is yours. This is an added security standard. It is used for online banking and a host of other apps. So why is this important? Threats have outpaced standard security measures. Through a variety of methods, hackers have access to tools to guess or hunt down passwords at a rapid yet effortless pace. These threats are so common that access to such tools to steal passwords are commonly found all over the internet and are widely publicly available. Let's break it down. A password is no longer enough, no matter how convoluted it is. Simply stated, passwords are officially old school. So what does this mean for the state of the business? It means that passwords alone are irrelevant. We have them for basic security, but they are no longer a strong enough form of security against a dedicated effort to breach security. Our options for other factors of authentication might be something you have, something you know, or something you are. Something you have would be like your cell phone, aka mobile authentication. Something you know, like your mother's maiden name, that's a popular one. Something you are, like your fingerprint or your face. MFA is mandated from the government and DOD systems now. Security requirements everywhere are continuing to become increasingly more stringent. Just as the world of requirements is ever evolving, security continues at a rapid pace. The ONTAP MFA solution was introduced in NetApp ONTAP 9.3. The solution enables multi-factor authentication for administrative access via SSH, on-command system manager, also known as ONTAP system manager, and on-command unified manager, also known as ActiveIQ unified manager. Here's how administrator multi-factor authentication via SAML 2.0 works. The administrator logs in to the system manager or unified manager via web browser. The administrator's web browser is redirected to the identity provider, IDP, which performs the user authentication. Identity provider sends a SAML token indicating the administrator was authenticated and access is permitted. By the way, our MFA solution has been validated with both Microsoft ADFS and Shibboleth IDP solutions. So what is the takeaway? MFA is here to stay and will continue to evolve by incorporating additional means of authentication. Remember we went from fingerprints on your phone to using your entire face. Industry regulations are requiring MFA to address weaknesses in traditional username password authentication. Organizations and entities such as DOD, federal government, and a growing list of verticals are requiring the use of MFA. The NetApp MFA solution continues the focus of differentiation through security. And that's all we want to teach you today about MFA, multi-factor authentication. Thank you for watching.